Okay. Okay, we got all our pistons in. And, uh, well, now I'm just in the process of finding the proper bolts for my oil pump. So I put the oil pump on, get that nailed down, and then, uh, and then we will be ready to. That ain't right. And then we will be ready to uh, put the oil pan on, seal up the bottom end, and then, and then it's just a matter of popping on the heads and uh, popping on the heads and um, you know finishing up the rest, the front cover and such, and all that nonsense. I'm putting a new oil pump on here, and. Uh, for those of you that will build your own motors, uh, a new oil pump is always a good idea. If you think about it, you know, no matter how many miles you got on it, you know, you just don't know what it's picked up. You don't know the condition of it. There, there's really no way of knowing. And so, to me, when I look at an oil pump, I think, you know, that's $40 worth of insurance right there. You know, and it's, that's some, that's some pretty cheap insurance. And I've put together motors before without uh, without putting on a new oil pump and well to be perfectly honest I got I got bit bad you know so like I say it's just it's just good insurance it's a peace of mind thing for me I put on a new oil pump I know that it's good I don't have to gauge out the old one you know and make sure the teeth are all right in it you know and the gears and I just you know put it together it's there it's a good thing. Um, from here on out, really, though, I don't really use my torque spec much. You know, I, I always use torque specs when it comes to rod bolts, main caps, head bolts, things like that. But when it comes to, like, the intake and all that nonsense, I don't really, it's something I really don't adhere too much to. You know, I don't subscribe to the theory that you have to torque every bolt. You know, just uh, crank it up till it gives and then back it off. Uh, it's, at least that's the, uh, that's the running joke. Oh, now I'm going to find a bolt that holds the uh, pickup tube down. And yes, I did clean that pickup tube very well. Because I want absolutely no chance whatsoever that... I'm going to get any of the previous contamination in my fresh motor here. That just doesn't sound like much fun to me. But I don't know, you know, some of you might get a kick out of putting together a new motor and then having it go up on you, I guess. I don't know. Do what you like, you know, each to their own. Me personally, I'll, I'll uh, keep doing what I'm doing here. Oh, I guess that was the right side of having my grubby little hands. Grubby being key there. So at any rate, um, we're going to keep on doing this and I'll get, we will get the, uh, we're going to get the uh, oil pan put on, all the fun accessories. The only other major part of this of this uh, motor get going together that I'm really going to film is uh, putting the heads on and torquing them down because there's some important things there. The rest of it's fairly straightforward. The biggest thing to remember with building an engine is, I mean, try and control your contamination, whether it be by the use of oil films. Um, always use new parts when it's, when it's feasible and when they're available. I mean, it, it's just good practice. But don't go overboard. You don't have to worry about, you know, oh my God, I'm using an old piston. You know, it's, it's kind of, it, it'll turn into your own judgment. You know, there's a lot of things you can get away with. There's a lot of things that you can't get away with. And uh, you, you put together enough of these and you kind of figure out what you can and can't do after a while. It just becomes fairly obvious you know and you'll you'll make your mistakes and 
hopefully you guys all learn from them. You know, it's, but, uh, you know, it's not rocket science. You're not, you know, you're not doing heart surgery. It's mostly a matter of common sense. You know, remembering how stuff was, how to put things together, you know, if you can see it and just make sense of how stuff looks, then it'll all end up rather well in the end most of the time, about 90% of the time, in fact. But, at any rate, um, we'll get the oil pan and the front cover on, and then we're going to flip it over, and we'll put the heads on. Okay, I got one head prepped and ready. As you can see, I got the oil pan on, the head gasket's pretty well ready to go. Just got one thing to do now. <clears throat> I've got a can of uh, this copper spray gasket, and I really like to use that on my head gaskets and exhaust gaskets and some of the stuff that gets pretty hot. And uh, basically what you do is you just shake it up real good and then uh, just lay kind of a decent coating on. I mean, don't worry too much about getting it in the cylinders. It's going to burn out pretty quick anyways. I mean, so long as you're starting the motor up soon, it's going to. Um, don't go trying to get it in your cylinders, but, you know, if you get a little in there, I'm sure it'll be just fine. I've never had any troubles with it anyway, so in that sense... So anyways, you just spray that stuff on there, put a nice gentle coat on. Then you put your head gasket on. This particular head gasket has a marking on it. It says front right there. <clears throat> These are uh, heads on the 400s and 351s. Are uh, They can go either way. So anyways, let's uh, go ahead and we'll put a coating of this on this side of it. And that'll really help around the water jackets and, uh, or the, you know, the water passages and things like that. So, we're just about done here, and then we'll set the head that I got prepped and ready to go. We'll set that up on here. And, uh, boogity boogity. Okay, I need both hands for this. chance of mucking anything up with all my time into this, so I'm going to take and just wipe any of it out of the cylinders that we see in there. None of it should have stuck anyways because the cylinders are coated pretty good in oil. <laughs> and then whatever's left in there will burn out the first time I hit the key. Well, hopefully when I hit the key. So, let's go ahead and grab this. And then just line it on the dowel pins. And grab, at the very least, one head bolt. And just go ahead and get that started so that your head doesn't fall off. head set on. So next we're just going to get the other head set on there. <coughs> and uh, we should be good to go. We can finish putting the bolts in and tighten them down. It's starting to look like a motor again. <coughs> 